Lilies and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little spooky book haul. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free. So please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week. So trust me, you don't want to miss out. With that being said, let's move on to the haul. So I did get quite a few books here. Let's just... Just go this way. We'll just start with this one. This is the Illustrated Encyclopedia of Healing Remedies. And I actually got this from Barnes and Noble. And uh, this was on sale for $15, which I thought was great. But I had been looking for a book just like this for so long. And I happened to find it in the sales section. But um, I really love like natural remedies like if there's anything i can take naturally instead of taking like a pill for it or some kind of medicine like i prefer that this has like so many roots and and um, vegetables and all of that that you can use for different ailments and i think that's just so cool and very helpful especially if you're trying to live a more natural life i guess <laughs> um, even like almonds like it has like properties and uses and all of that and it's just so cool it even has recipes in here and um like it even has like i haven't even looked at all of this yet but like eye problems headaches like what you can use for each of those things and i just i think this is really really valuable information and so i have that it's huge too it's a huge book really big like textbook size moving on we have these three beauties um these two i got from books a million this one i got from barnes and noble it's a little bit more pricey from books a million so just keep that in mind but i could not find these at barnes and noble which was interesting and i could not find this one at books a million i first obviously uh, was attracted by the cover and I know don't judge a book by its cover I know but these were so pretty and metallic um, the first one I got was this one which I thought was interesting these have like little mini stories in here like one story will just be like two pages or like a little excerpt of a, you know you know what I mean like a little uh, paragraph or two and that's like a whole story right there so I love that especially for like bedtime if you're, you're not wanting to read like a whole chapter book you can just read a mini story right here so um, I got epic tales witches wizards seers and healers myths and tales and my husband wanted this one because he likes mysteries um, let's see this is gothic fantasy detective thrillers short stories and then I wanted this one as well um, epic tales beasts and creatures myths and tales so really really interesting let's see these are all the different stories that it has like mini stories the only thing i will say is the like um actual font is so tiny i don't like tiny font <laughs> um and i mean it's not like super tiny it's just smaller than what i prefer you know i like it more spaced out so just keep that in mind but anyways i did try to read one of these stories to my husband last night and he fell asleep like within one page so i don't know if that's a good sign <laughs> but i will keep you guys posted if i do end up returning this that is my bookmark by the way yeah that's that's a band-aid yeah anyways so there are those three and moving on we have this guy right here which i actually got yesterday this was also on sale their sales section is actually, I feel like has some really, really great books. So this is Superstitions, a handbook of folklore, myths, and legends from around the world. And I love things like that. Um, just, let's see. They have Egypt, the Americas, like all of the little folklore and legends of each country. I, th I think that's just so cool. And again like they're just like short little blurps is that what it's called i don't know i don't even know what you would call it but little little stories of each thing and i think that's so cool and the book looked cool too i like the cover so there's that one and 
moving on, we got these two. One is on astrology, one is palmistry. My husband has been wanting a book on palmistry because he finds that like really fun. Like it's not like, like he just thinks it's interesting. They're both $10. And then astrology, the astrology one is for me. And I always thought it was fun because I love my sign, the Pisces um, sign. I am very much a Pisces, very much. So um, it's not really that I believe in it or anything. It's just, I don't know. I just find it fun. It's something fun to read. And sometimes you just need something fun to read as if all of these aren't fun. Let's move on to the last book. <laughs> okay, so this is the last one. This actually was on sale for $5, which is crazy. Um, all of these, by the way, were from Barnes & Noble. It was just those two books that I got from um, Books A Million. But this one is 10,000 Ghost Stories, and you can create over 10,000 ghost, uh, ghosts and 10,000 stories. Um, and I've never seen a book like this, and I just thought the concept was super cool. They had a ghost version, and they had a zombie version, but I, of course, wanted the ghost version. Um, zombies just aren't my favorite, so let's see so this book is really cool because you can choose the beginning middle and end of each story and depending on how you flip it the story changes so you literally have like 10,000 different combinations of stories that you can create and then on this side it shows you like what the ghost would look like I guess you know what I mean so I think that's so cool. Oh my goodness, I've never seen something like that. And I mean, just one book and you get 10,000 different stories, that's pretty cool. And it's short stories as well, so it doesn't take you know, a long time. It's literally just one page, you know what I mean? So I love that. Really, really cool and perfect for spooky season, especially if you have little ones, you know? Um, maybe not too little because I don't know how scary these stories are yet. I haven't read any of them but really, really cool. I just loved the concept of it. Okay, so I ended up getting four more books from Five Below, and I thought I would just add them onto this haul. So first we have Harry Potter, and this one is a word search um, puzzle book, and it has so many word search puzzles, which is great, and it's by like category, which I love. Really nice. So we have that, and then we have the unofficial Harry Potter spell book, which I thought I had a version of this, but I just really like the look of this book. And there is that, really cool. And I even like the feel, it has like a soft touch to it, really cool. And then I saw these two and I had to get them as well. These are conspiracies. I'll just give you a quick flip through. And then this one has the greatest mysteries of the unexplained, which I love stuff like that. So really, really cool. And it's not like a huge like storybook that you have to read if you ha only have like a couple minutes a night. Um, I thought it would be fun to just like read like one conspiracy or something and then like, discuss it with my husband or something. I, I don't know. I just thought it would be fun and interesting for us to do. I wanted to add just one more book, which is this Mina Lima, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban book. I already have the first two books from Mina Lima and I actually hauled them I believe last year I will link that video down below these books are the coolest books that I own truly they just bring like an extra touch of magic to the Harry Potter books if you are a book lover I highly suggest that you check these out they are literal works of art so uh, the third one is coming out it's actually only available for pre-order and um, I think it's supposed to release on October 3rd or 4th or something like that. So I haven't gotten my hands on it yet, but I definitely will. And once I do, I will 
um, probably post it on either my TikTok or my Instagram. So make sure to be following me on there and I will give you guys a look at the book and I already know it's going to be gorgeous. The color itself, of, like of the cover, is so beautiful. So I can't wait to actually get a hold of this book. Alrighty, my loves. So that was it for this spooky book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!